Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benuning. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very serious news we've been following today. It's been out already now for uh, several hours uh, about Russia already bombing targets in Syria. And of course, a lot of debate, a lot of rhetoric, a lot of heated exchanges between the uh, Russian general at the U.S. Embassy in uh in Baghdad, as well as uh, Pentagon officials scuffling back and forth over Russia's involvement in Syria. Uh, it, it's very interesting to say the least. I'll try to bring you up to date the best I can. We've actually titled the article here, Russia Bombs US-Backed uh, uh, free, free Syrian Fighters. Uh, this is according to Fox News. Now, of course, they didn't say that it was uh, U.S. backed, but clearly the United States backs uh, many of the different rebel forces and have been training many of the different rebel forces fighting to topple uh, uh, the Assad, uh, King Assad of Syria. And uh, I might bring you to a real quick, just to an article about that here. This was uh, back on um, uh, May 7th of 2015, CNN Politics says U.S. training of Syrian rebels set to begin. Uh, now keep that in mind. This is in May. This came out of this year. The U.S. is beginning to train the Syrian rebels. And now Russia has stepped in and backing uh, and, and has been arming the Assad, uh, President uh, Basar Assad, for quite some time to combat the rebels and the ISIS groups all in the Middle East. And of course, we just brought to you yesterday uh, the very startling revelation that we had gotten with Avi Lipkin, with the interview with Avi Lipkin, where Avi speaks about that the new world government would take care of ISIS. And, uh, and to say the very least, you know, it's, it's obvious, Avi knows something on the inside. And some people kind of take that as a negative. I don't mean that as a negative regarding him, but I do say there's a negative of those that speak at the United Nations. And I need to say no more when it comes to that there. Uh, but clearly Avi does have some inside information. And that's what I thought was very alarming to say the least, because it tells us what's going on in the Middle East. But the issue right now, that is happening is a struggle for power. Undoubtedly, the United States has not been made aware that the crown, as Jonathan Kahn stated, has been removed from the United States as a superpower and put on Russia. But clearly, the Vatican is now using Russia to fight its battles, and seemingly that the United States is not doing a good enough job. Uh, but anyway, according to this article here on CNN Politics here, it stated the Pentagon is poised to begin as soon as this week, that's back in May of 2015, just months ago, a controversial program to train moderate Syrian rebels at locations in Turkey and Jordan to fight ISIS, according to several U.S. defense officials. The first of 400 U.S. military trainers have now arrived in both countries out of the list of 3,000 rebels who have expressed interest in joining the program. Some 400 have passed the initial security screening. Once final approval is given, they will be train, training on small arms radios, medical gear, and battlefield tactics. Now, today, Russia released, uh, what you're seeing on the screen here, released images of the first strikes that they did. They carried out 20 different uh, uh, sorties already and uh, struck eight targets, some of those in and around Damascus. Many of those are in western Syria. Now, the Russian general, a three-star general, goes to Damascus and goes to the U.S. Embassy and lets the the uh, defense, uh, the de defense, the person that's of the part, Department of Defense at the embassy, aware to tell the United States people to keep their aircraft out of Syrian airspace because Russia was be about to begin their confrontations. But John Kerry has refused to back down or to take U.S. military planes out of the airspace. And of course, why? Russia is starting to hit the real problem for Basar Assad, and that's the U.S. trained and backed and funded uh, the, the Free Syrian Army, the defectors of the Syrian Army. They're taking out the main problem. Now, of course, as Vladimir Putin puts it, this is ISIS. This is where ISIS is. He says, and you have to go in there. And, he's, and of course, Putin has clearly made it clear, this is how you take out ISIS. 
And of course, Putin is already saying that all of these groups are the ISIS. And in fact, I guess there's a lot of truth in his statement. If you think about it, the United States is the one that backed all the groups that became ISIS. Uh, they funded them. They give them the military weapons to carry out the campaigns that they're doing. And of course, why? To displace all of these uh, people in Syria in order to be able to get the oil. This is exactly what Avi Lipkin said as well. They're doing it. They're going to take this region because of the oil. It has nothing to do with Christians or Jews or anything else. It's all about the oil. And now it's a fight between the United States and Russia on who's going to control this oil. Of course, Syria comes out on the Mediterranean just like Israel does. And, uh, and Russia definitely is putting their, their claim to this all together. Now, let me just take you real quick. TASS, Russian news agency, uh, they've already reported several times on it, but they said here in their latest news report, just came out seconds ago, says uh, Prime Minister, excuse me, Defense Minister Lavrov advises U.S. reporters not to listen to the Pentagon about Russian airstrikes in Syria. I thought that was a slap in the face to the, to the, to the United States for sure. Uh, it says, earlier in the day, Russian Defense Ministry circulated video footages of the airstrikes on the command centers of the Islamic State terrorist group located in Syria. Uh, said that um, Lavrov advised Western journalists to apply to Russia's defense ministry for information about the Russian military operation in Syria. In response to U.S. reporters' questions on the Syrian conflict before his meeting with U.S. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, do not, he says, this is uh, Prime Minister, uh, excuse me, um, the defense minister Lavrov, he says, do not listen to the Pentagon about Russian airstrikes as the Russian defense, defense ministry Lavrov said, uh, noting that all the information had been made public at the UN Security Council's uh, minister, ministerial meeting earlier in the day. Russian Defense Minister circulated video footages of the airstrikes in the command center of the Islamic State terrorist group located in Syria. Uh, today's aircraft of Russian Aerospace Forces delivered pinpoint airstrikes on uh, eight facilities of the ISIL former named Islamic State terrorist group of the territory of the Syrian Arab Republic. Overall, some 20 sorties were made. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor uh, Kanoshikov said. Uh, as a result of the airstrike depots with ammunition, uh, armaments, petroleum, oil, and lubricants, accumulations of military hardware were hit. The command control centers of ISIL's militant formations in the mountains have been completely destroyed. Uh, Kashenikov uh, said, adding that all strikes were carried out after the relevant intelligence uh, had been provided by the Syrian army's headquarters. Russian aircraft has not bombed uh, civilian facilities and areas around them. Um, very, very interesting to say the least. Of course, according to Fox News, Fox News actually came out today and uh, the United States is in an uproar over uh, Russia's demand. It started off uh, according to the recorded uh, statement that was being uh, carried out by Russia, uh, they actually did uh, monitor what was actually said there. The Russian general does come into the embassy and request uh, for the U.S. military not to be uh, in the airspace while Russia conducts its own uh, sorties in the region. Uh, he even goes so far as to ask kindly and says, please not to do that. But then it became a very heated debate there in the U.S. Embassy there. And, of course, at that point, the Russian general demanded that the U.S. not have its, uh, its uh, flights in Syria during this campaign. Of course, the United States is ignoring this altogether. It is definitely, as we have reported uh, just about a week or so ago, the war between Russia and the United States has already begun. It's just a matter of who's doing the fighting. Now, in this particular instance here, it is Russian and American uh, aircraft that are involved in the fight. The only difference is now Russia is taking out the, the, uh, the uh, free Syrian army that the United States has trained in order to topple uh, Basra Assad. Uh, and so now Russia is there to back Assad and is getting rid of all the people that the U.S. has trained. Question is next, will the U.S. get involved in this conflict directly with Russia? I don't think they will at this particular point, but needless to say, there is a lot of tension in Syria on the border of Israel. It's something we're trying to get back over there ourselves to actually cover right there for you from the Syrian border ourselves. 
uh, but at this point here, we're having a very difficult time making it back into Israel because of the prices have just skyrocketed here in the recent days here. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.